Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Julia and today I'm going to do like a winter slash spring kind of outfit video. And I say winter slash spring even though it's like the middle of winter because some of these outfits are not super warm. So depending on where you live, it might be fit more for spring. So winter slash spring. <laughs> talk about some basics that you should need for like a winter wardrobe so definitely have a white shirt or just like a blank white top of some kind and have that in white and black and then have at least one pair of jeans I only have one pair of jeans because this year well last year's jeans literally just don't fit me anymore and so I bought one pair this year and I don't really go out a lot because I don't go to school still missing my entire eighth grade year but it's definitely a staple of the closet. So I got these, these are just straight leg jeans. And I used to really like skinny jeans, but I found that straight legs are just like more comfortable and they also look really flattering. So these are from Hollister. Another thing that I found is really good for winter and layering is just a turtleneck. I just have a black one here. It's actually not mine, it's my sister's, but either way, if your mom has one, your sister has one, your brother has one, your dad has one, then you have one. If you have these basics, then layering jackets, sweaters, and all of the other things on top will make just making outfits a lot easier for the winter. So I'm just going to start off with styling a bunch of things with this black turtleneck. And I just started off with these same jeans, which I'm probably going to be using a lot throughout this video. And I just paired this um, kind of like, I don't know what to call it, like line designed jacket. And it's really, it's really long. It's, it's from Tommy Hilfiger, it's kind of like the star of this outfit. And for winter, a lot of these like jackets, if you have like cool accent jackets, you can make a bunch of out outfits out of those. So they're really important and cool to have. This one's actually also my sister's. It's like a little bit big for me, but I think it goes really well with this necklace. I think jewelry is also like really important and it can really like spice up an outfit. And this one, is just this little heart and pearl necklace. I got it from Ann Taylor for a really good deal. It was only like $8. I'll also probably pair it with these boots. They're just kind of like heeled boots that are like leathery almost. But I'm not gonna try them on because I'm standing on the carpet right now and these are dirty. So just pretend they're there. Okay, for the next few outfits, um, I'm gonna be kind of layering these sweaters over the black turtleneck. I have a few that I'm gonna show you guys. But first one is kind of this Argyle sweater. It's obviously been a trend for 2020 and it's kind of still in for 2021. So I just decided to show you. I think it's really cute. I just found this one in my dad's closet. I found two in my dad's closet actually that I'm gonna show later. But I just layered it over my black turtleneck. You can replace the jeans with a lot of other types of pants, but I just paired it with these jeans yet again. And this time I have a gold necklace. And I feel like a lot of sweaters, like just not just these types of sweaters, look good with a black turtleneck underneath and it just make for a warmer combination rather than just the sweater. Like I'm like sweating right now. <laughs> Here I just replaced it with green sweater also for my dad. It's a little bit shorter, but I really like the green color and it's it's kind of like an olive, a very fall color. You know, it's winter and this is a winter video, but that's okay. Okay, so for this next outfit, it's just the same base with a Another sweater, this one is kind of like another crew neck and it just has some balls on it. It's like um, an Asian food if you don't know. It's kind of like a, I don't know how to explain it, a pork dumpling, but like steamed. It's, it's, it's not very complicated, but I can't really explain it. But um, it's just on the sweater and it's super cute and it's so hot. I think just, this just makes another cute outfit. Again, you can just really layer any sweater on top of the turtleneck and they'll look pretty snazzy. 
I also think this outfit would work with plaid pants. Just a second. Okay, so here's my plaid pants. Um, if you haven't seen my plaid pant video, go watch it. It gives it a little bit more texture on the bottom. Kind of like a textured fabric. Switches things up a little bit, especially since this is like a plain colored top. <laughs> Okay, this outfit, when I got this like leopard top, like quite literally, I thought it's very not my normal style and I can't tell if it's ugly or not. Like I literally can't tell. I tried to style it to make you cute, make it cute and I like kind of like it, but like everyone I, everyone I've shown to says it was like ugly as heck. So I don't really know how to feel. Please leave your opinion in the comments. I would really appreciate that. But I just styled it with, again, this turtleneck and jeans and just kind of half tucked it. Button to button. I don't know. I feel like it's off a very different aesthetic that I normally go to. It's just another idea if you're kind of into that stuff and you can really use any type of button down. This one's just a little bit more unique. <laughs> I really don't know how to feel about because it's like a cute like like dress over sweater moment kind of remind myself of that one girl from friends rachel i think i've never watched friends but or that one scooby-doo <laughs> that one scooby-doo character but um <laughs> i wouldn't wear it to school um maybe when i'm like 20 living in the city living the life but uh not right now but just another idea for y'all. I'm just gonna show another couple options for kind of like a colored turtleneck, like this yellow one. Uh, first of all, guess who just climbed on the bed to turn the AC down a bit because it was getting like excruciatingly hot and then fell over the chair that I used in the intro while trying to jump off the bed and like flew off and like nearly died. <sighs> Wanna see my foot? You're gonna see my foot. <sighs> ah yes, what a beautiful bruise is going to form there. Furthermore, here's the outfit. And then it really called out to me as like a gold hoops outfit. So I just added those and love the outfit. And I'm literally giving myself ideas cause I really never thought of this. I got this jacket last week and it's super cute. It's kind of like a blanket material and it's super soft. It was from Marshalls actually. Just paired it on top of this yellow turtleneck. I really think it complements the hoops. And with the jeans, look. Okay, next I'm just gonna be showing you guys a bunch of ways to style this jacket like a white jacket or kind of like a more puffy jacket i would say okay progress my foot um actually not even progress it's not technically progress but my foot is like bumping up that's whatever um so for this outfit if you saw in my hairstyle video i wore this um shirt and earrings so it's just this shirt it's really cute, it's like a little sweater. It's like half sleeved. It's from YesStyle. If you wanna know where anything is, just leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to answer it. Or just, if you need anything, just say it in the comments. Um, and I'm wearing these cute little earrings. They're my favorite right now. They kind of just loop through and cuff at the top and they're just super cute, kind of silver. And then just jeans again. I just added this, um, silver kind of loop felt that my sister uh, graciously gifted me and um, it just I think it adds a little bit more detail to the outfit I guess a little bit more style I think it just looks really good together so that's just my final accessory I if you're going out if, if I was going out I'd probably just take a bag like this one it's just this super cute kind of fuzzy gray purse actually not sure where I got this one. Well, my mom got it a couple years ago and she was like, here's a couple purses because they were on sale and they're just really cute. So 
itself. Here it is. I think it matches kind of like the lighter color scheme. And I think it's just really cute. <laughs> just ignore that my shoes are like really dirty. This next outfit, I'm just gonna put this kind of like light green kind of jacket on top of this shirt and this belt again. And I actually found this jacket today and it was kind of just in the closet. It was my mom's, but look how cute it is. Look at the inside. It's just adorable. So I'm just gonna put it on and show you guys. It's super like fuzzy and warm in the inside. So perfect for like colder weathers. And again, I love light colors. I think it's super cute. And again, match it with this purse. It's just a really cute kind of almost Easter-y outfit, I would say. Last but not least, moving on to the, la the last outfit. Yeah. Okay, for the last outfit, I have it again with the um, gold hoops and it's like really loud but I just added kind of this uh, gingham, gingham, plaid, something in between. This shirt, it kind of reminds me of Burberry, if you know what I mean. And then I just added this jacket, it's from Calvin Klein, and it's actually double-sided. My sister has one with like different color on the other side, but it's just pretty simple. And I also just added this, uh, gold hooped belts to match with the gold of the earrings and just added my jeans again and I think this is like a really coordinated outfit I feel really like put together but it's just a really cute kind of pair um, another tip is when you're making putting your outfits together it's nice to kind of match the palette or like a color from the shirt to the jacket and it just makes it look a little bit more put together and more coordinated, if you know what I mean. That would be it for my video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And you can also comment like anything, you know, like your opinions or videos you might want to see in the future. Also really appreciate that. And have a good day.